Hi, and welcome to Wageningen University in Research. I'm Julia, and today I'm joined by someone in the Master's Program of Urban Environmental Management. And I think it'd be nice to start off with a brief introduction. Hello, my name is Leo Breckman. I'm a study advisor at Urban Environmental Management. Would you mind giving us a brief description about the program? Of course. Um, urban Environment Management, um, well, we think it's very important because more and more people are living in cities, uh, nowadays 50%, and in 2030 it will be about 60%. Wow. Yeah, that means there's a lot of people in a relatively small area, which means environmental problems. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what to do about it, how to manage these. And um, uh, so we equip the students with, uh, well, uh, outlook, with concepts and tools uh, to, to manage uh, environmental problems in cities. And would you mind telling me about the specializations within the program? Yeah, well, we call it these tracks and we have seven and they cover four essential uh, parts of uh, uh, environmental management uh, in urban areas. It's planning, governance, quality and health, technology and infrastructure. And we got, like I said, seven. Here we have the information science and land use planning. Land use planning is about the process of how to come to a plan. And geoinformation science is more supported, supporting by providing data and analyzing data in order to, uh, well, to have a good urban management. Um, governance is about, let's say, the people side, environmental policy. Um, well, I make policy for environmental issues. Uh, environmental economics is about uh, economic development and uh, environmental uh, problems. And management studies are really on the level of uh, companies. How do they deal with, with uh, uh, environmental problems? How will they solve them? Then, environmental systems analysis. That is really analyzing the, the whole system mm -hmm. with people, nature, technology, and uh, uh, take into account the, the views and exper experience of uh, stakeholders. So that's really a, yeah, a complicated, the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> And even some curious people, how does it work? And, uh, and then urban system engineering, that's really the, more the technical aspect of urban management. Uh, and well, say urban management, management of water, uh, waste, materials. And what is the course structure of this program? Uh, well, I have an example here because we have seven tracks. I can't explain them all. Right. Hmm. So here, for the TS track, environmental economics, I have the, this blue uh, courses, they're compulsory, unless advised otherwise. It can be that you have already knowledge, you don't have to do it oh, again. Nice. Yeah. And then you have really compulsory uh, tracks, uh, courses. You have really compulsory courses. Here you have to choose at least two out of three. And these are really urban courses. If you don't do research methods, and if you don't do this one, then you have free choice and can find uh, another course which you like. It's broadening your knowledge or deepening your knowledge and it fits in the program. So there's still a little bit of flexibility. Yeah, there. right. Yeah. And then what is this European workshop? Yeah, the European workshop. Students like it very much. Um, uh, 30 students have an assignment. Uh, it's a real problem from our society. And they will uh, do the anal analysis. They will do research and they will come with a plan or uh, recommendations and they present it to the uh, the commissioner and uh, you prepare in the Netherlands together and then you go abroad somewhere in Europe Wow! Yeah, <laughs> that's that's why they like it very much uh, and uh, well do the research there and present their findings so that sounds like really good preparation for the real world right it is yes it's really uh, applying your knowledge from previous courses and uh, learn to cooperate with such a big group and yeah? it might be a challenge and um, well, and come to a final report. Yes. Yeah. For a student looking into an internship, does the program give them any help? Yeah. Well, there is some support, but basically they are themselves responsible to find an internship. Uh, but of course, every chair group uh, has its uh, uh, database and its, its own uh, network. So you can find some help, but basically you yourself are responsible. So are there any specific requirements for admissions for this program? Uh, not really specific. Um, it's more in general. It's a you have to have seventy percent of your GPA and of the max score okay. you can have. The fluency in English is important, and also that you are good in maths and uh, statistics. 
Are there any special bachelor programs that you prefer, or is it more open? Well, it, it's not about preferring, but what we see, uh, and students coming to us, that they have uh, a bachelor in environmental sciences, or bachelor in, in architecture, or urban management, uh, or city management, you know, things like that. Yeah, so they don't have to specifically have studied urban environmental That's management right. before. Yeah. 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 And for a student after they graduate, what are some typical jobs they might end up with? Well, they might become uh, a specialist or, or advisor at government, uh, in a consultancy or as you see also in the research, for example, uh, or at utility services, uh, on working on energy, water. So there's management. a lot of different options for that. Right, them. yeah. And it's uh, a hot issue at, uh, at the moment. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. What would you say is the difference between studying in this program and, let's say, the environmental sciences master's program at Wageningen? Environmental science is not uh, focused on urban areas and uh, as more thesis tracks. It's more general, it has a little bit more uh, free choice space in the program. Thank you so much for your answers. I hope we provided you with a lot of interesting information today. Thanks and hope to see you soon.